since the mid-60s, in the days when parkas, lambrettas, vespers, miniskirts and too many mirrors were all considered subversive. It disbanded in the late 70s, but was reformed recently by some of the original members. The man who led the revival was Steve Newell, former soldier and skinhead. You feel a teenager every time you get on one of these, you feel young, it's fantastic. How important was it to have the right look, the right clothes and the right accessories for your scooter? It was very important to, uh, at the time, it still is today, uh, as a mod, you like to be smart, your suits and your heavy shirts and your ties and that, even the skinners, they like to be smart, they had, in them days, they had the boots, the jeans were all up, but he had the pieces in, the jeans, they had the arms and on. You had your park if it was uh, cold or it was raining. Didn't keep you dry like, but it did help a bit. You know, I was a skinhead with a proper skinhead in 69 I started. Uh, we used to do a lot of fights between the rockers and I'd go down to the local promenades at Real, Southport, uh, New Brighton, or you could get in the town and you'd be fighting every time you see someone. It's quite enjoyable as a young lad. Yeah, but t today you're too old for things like that. You, you've grown up, you realise it's stupid. 